the 2021 Tech Challenge Awards. I'm your host, Maria Robles Gonzalez, and I'm coming to you from my garage in San Jose, California. We're so excited to see your out of the box thinking this year. Actually, where did it go? Oh, here it is. That's more like it. I'll be sure to use that later. Welcome to the 34th Annual Tech Challenge, Ultimate Upcycle, presented by Zoom Video Communications. Every year, we ask students to design a solution based on a real world problem. This is the first year that many of you completed the challenge completely virtually, while also balancing remote learning. We had teams join us from Detroit to Pakistan to right here in the San Francisco Bay Area. We are so excited to announce the awards and show you what some of the other teams built. Oh, who's that? Let me see if I can just reach. Oh, it's our new president and CEO of the Tech Interactive, Katrina Stevens. Hi, Katrina. Hi, Marie. Happy to be here. Katrina is a former teacher and worked for the Obama administration, helping make sure more students just like you have access to the technology they need to learn, like Wi-Fi. She's also the first woman to lead the tech. Welcome. Thanks, Maria. I am so impressed with what I have seen with, from the Tech Challenge teams. Your tenacity, creativity, and problem-solving skills will serve you well in your careers and life. My hope for you is that when you find something you don't know how to do at first, tell yourself you don't know how to do this yet. If you keep at it, you will be successful. So thank you for showing up, doing the hard work, and having fun with us along the way. I can't wait to see who really wowed the judges, but you're all winners in our book. We are proud to call the capital of Silicon Valley, San Jose, our home. A lot of people here are rooting for you to succeed, including San Jose Mayor Sam Licardo, who joins us now. Sam, thank you for being such a longtime supporter of the Tech Interactive. Thanks, Katrina. So glad to have you on board leading the tech. You know, the Tech Challenge is a tradition that goes back more than three decades, and I've been honored to watch over the years some of you go wild and have a blast with engineering and science. Your creative and unique solutions always amaze me. The COVID-19 pandemic has shown us just how important problem solvers are to people around the globe. The skills you've learned here will help our city and our world, and you might just save a few lives. My biggest advice to young innovators is to never let failure stop you. Every mistake will offer rich lessons from which you can learn and grow. It's through overcoming our early defeats that we inspire each other because we can all identify with failure and we need inspiration to do hard work that's required for success. Good luck. Now back to you, Maria. Thanks, Mayor Sam. Today's program is brought to you by the letters E for engineering, T for teamwork, and Z for Zoom. Now, let's hear from our presenting sponsor, Zoom Video Communications. Hi, Maria. Happy to be here. I am so inspired by the hard work and dedication of this year's Tech Challenge teams. We hope every one of you feels confident in their abilities to solve problems. We were blown away by the creativity and teamwork you put in this year. My biggest piece of advice to young innovators is to think big. Zoom Video Communications is proud to support the next generation of STEM leaders with the Tech Challenge. We hope your career may include us someday. So many people are cheering you on. Take a look at all of these Silicon Valley organizations that want you to succeed. Thank you so much to all of our Tech Challenge supporters. Now let's get... Um, Maria, you forgot one. Oh, it's our director, Matt Tyrios. What's up, Matt? A last minute addition. We've added this one. Oh, uh, C for cardboard? Cardboard, more like card excited. Okay. Today definitely would not be possible without this year's primary building material, cardboard. Let's hear it for all the wonderful ways you can create with it. look at how our young engineers made this year's challenge a cut <gasps> above the rest. We'll be needing this. Oh. Cardboard? Wow! 
Hey, bud! you can do with cardboard, like the 2021 Tech Challenge. Get ready for the ultimate upcycle! The challenge? Assemble a useful item out of cardboard that transforms into something else. The measurements are 16 by 16. So our device is this cardboard shelf that can turn into a biodegradable plant pool. The tech challenge taught me that being patient is very important. You can also sit on it. And it can also go up to different levels. Next, we're going to lift up the shelf and then we're going to put, the, put it against the wall. Then we're going to put it on the floor. And then we're going to put it on the floor. And then we're going to grab it with the claws of the grabber. Release it. The playoffs is able to fit him inside as well. Place the roof on top. Our success criteria is for a young child. Homelessness and displacement takes an adverse effect on children. This is a table for toys, it's not a real life thing. It's very own book. Actually moved in a chain strong enough to pull the dog. It can be carried around. Nicely done. Just, um, I think it's a tech challenge is doing a really cool thing, influencing young young generations like that. The tech challenge taught me the importance of collaboration. One thing I learned during the tech challenge is how to use the engineering process, such as brainstorming, prototyping, designing, building, and testing. Cardboard to use to save birds. Now that I'm trying to learn more about it, I, I do want to be an engineer. It's important to have mistakes before you have success, and that you're never really done um, with a product. all your amazing solutions. And now, to the moment you've all been waiting for, the award. Our judges were blown away by your creativity, teamwork, and mad cardboard creating skills. We're just announcing a few of the awards right now, but all the winners will be recognized at the end of the program. Let's unbox our top awards for the fourth and fifth grade participants. Okay, our first award is Outstanding Overall, and it goes to Team number 56, the Pink Engineers from Stratford Middle School. And two more teams impressed the judges enough for Outstanding Overall. Team number 115, Cardboard Cutouts from Saratoga Elementary School. And team number 277, the Cardboard Kins from Ybell Elementary School. Congratulations! Now let's pause to hear what team the cats created. Garden Vice is a pet carrier that turns into a stool. It's fun to work with your friends and it's fun to think of things that could um, help in the real world. I'm very proud of my teammates because they worked their hardest during this a virtual time and we all were eager to try our hardest. Congratulations fourth and fifth graders! We'll have more awards from all the age groups at the end of the show, so keep watching. Make sure to let us know what your favorite part of participating in the tech challenge is in the chat. Let's see who's next. Looks like the sixth graders. The first award for this age group is Outstanding overall, and it goes to three teams. The first is T. 
team number 45. Yes, we can! Awesome! Next up, team number 137. Ultimate upcycle from Cumberland Elementary School. And team number 153, the distractors from Sunnyvale Middle School. We all know teamwork makes the dream work. Hear what Team Quarantine Chaos says about how they work together. Something that I learned about teamwork is that if we put all our heads together, we can make something even better than the ones that we were thinking of alone. We would listen to everybody, and once we came up with which one sounded the most realistic, that's when we made our final decision as a team. Failure is not a bad thing because you learn from the mistakes that you make. We had lots of times when our prototypes would break, but instead of like giving up, we did persevere. We love it when you have fun learning. Tell us about your device in the chat. Okay, back to the awards. Now we have... Sounds like the thrill of innovation to me. The first award for the 7th and 8th graders goes to... Team number 86, Standify from Castileja School for Outstanding Overall. Also, team number 101, Mustachios from John F. Kennedy Middle School. And the final Outstanding Overall for the middle schoolers is team number 175. JLR Medical. Congratulations, engineers. We have more awards coming, but first, let's hear how more teams got creative with cardboard. So we came up with a backpack that turns into a ski ball table. And we wanted to like, have something unique and not many others would do. When you face a challenge and things don't exactly work out the way you want it to, you shouldn't give up and you should keep on trying. Right before going into it, I wasn't really that interested in engineering and technology. As I learned to do it, I realized that I actually love doing it and I love building things and coming up with new solutions. And it's even better when you get to do it side by side with some of your friends. We created Strider that turns into a stroller. At first, we were brainstorming crazy ideas like ice cream machines. And we sort of narrowed it down to this idea because we thought this would really stretch our boundaries, but at the same time, it's doable. We had to improvise. We had to overcome all the challenges. And we had to figure out a way to collaborate via Zoom. Obviously, you need more than one prototype. You need to fail. And with each failure becomes like you improve more and then another failure and then improve more. You can have infinite failures. You can always make it better. It's so awesome seeing how much fun you have solving problems. And now, oof, for the high schoolers, let's see if I can reach. Here it is. Now for the top awards for the high school teams, the first outstanding overall is team number 54, Einstein Erasers from Lindbrook High School. Next is team number 210, All Cards Aboard from Santa Clara High School. And our last outstanding overall award for the 2021 Tech Challenge goes to... Team number 62, Pothos Ivy from Evergreen Valley High School. Let's hear from Team Duo Makers about how they hope this experience helps them in their careers. I really want to be like an inventor, so that's my goal. And I really have learned a lot of things from Tech Challenge, like how to give interviews and how to present your device and how to think outside the box. So I think those are really great aspects from Tech Challenge that I'm gonna use in the future. I think Tech Challenge um, not only teaches us a lot about engineering, but I think it helps in all other careers as well. 
Wow, you really packed in so much ingenuity this year, engineers. Let's give everyone a hand as we see all of this year's winners. And give a shout out to your schooler team in the chat now. No tape, no problem. Cut it out. Whoa! I just love STEM learning. Ah, smells like STEM learning. Way to go, engineers! You're so creative! Yeah! Tell us in the chat if you see your school. Look at these teams go! and volunteers who worked so hard to make this such an incredible experience for students. We have one more surprise. In addition to your limited edition The Tech Challenge Ultimate Upcycle t-shirts, we're mailing every participant a voucher to come visit the Tech Interactive. We open May 29th and hope to see you soon. And if you loved The Tech Challenge, check out the Tech Interactive at home, which has a ton of activities just like it. Congratulations to everyone. Virtual dance party! Woo! That's a wrap! Maria! 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 <laughs> <laughs>